of ITS called the NUC, and uh, basically we uh, configure, design, and operate the wired, wireless, and internet connectivity for faculty, staff, and students. Anything that you plug in, either wirelessly wired, with the exception of voice, um, usually runs through our team. Um, I'm, I'm very prideful of, of our team just for the simple fact that we have such a big role in this campus and you know, allowing even your cameras to work, um, that all falls on our team to make sure that it's, it's operational at all, at all times and if it's not, we usually are the ones uh, troubleshooting behind the scenes. So I took a bit of an untraditional path. Um, I actually didn't go to a four-year four year, uh, university to actually become an engineer. Um, I did a mixture of um, a two-year technical school and then I got my associate's degree at a community college down in the valley. But one thing that triggered me or that changed my, um, changed my career was just when I was working at my previous employer through um, the call center, I learned about this vendor called Cisco. And uh, that basically just led me down a whole path of technical do documentation, uh, textbooks, where I started reading on my own and eventually getting certain certifications to be able to do what I'm doing today. That, in a nutshell, basically kind of progressed into me becoming the network engineer that I am today. We choose the best network based on the current technologies that are available and trying to um, assess what's going to be, provide the best uh, you know, services for our students. For the most part, it's a combination of just how students are using the actual network. We have to um, account for the fact that students have more wireless devices than ever before. They have um, a lot of expectations on wireless and making sure that they can and, you know, watch videos, play video games, and we try and account for that, making sure our network is capable and resilient to uh, handling that kind of bandwidth or load. But the campus has a pretty pretty large pipe for uh, you know internet traffic, and our internet circuit right now is 40 gigs, but it could balloon upwards to 100 in the future. Um, interestingly enough, what I've found is that it's not, uh, the, the amount of traffic that we have on campus, surprisingly, doesn't... Um, reach those levels. Um, we collaborate a lot with our tri-university, you know, ASU and U of A, um, and have our own network together in addition to having internet services that we provide for faculty and staff. But um, we are well prepared uh, for what the future has, at least for the campus and what we can do um, for multimedia, for just internet connectivity at, at a level. Um, yeah, they, we're pretty resilient. Our, our network is pretty hardy. Our support staff, the STC, Laurel's group, um, they're fantastic at being the front end for our department. Um, I'm more of the magician behind the, the curtain who's kind of pulling all the levers, but um, they are the guys who are the front line and are wonderful. Uh, we, we appreciate them so much. But um, when we get the call, typically it could be at any hour of the day. Um, whatever service is offline, we typically have to stop what we're doing and then, you know, either jump to action or jump to figuring out um, what's going on, finding out, getting more information, who is it impacting, is it just students, is it faculty, and then just, that's where the forensics comes in, we just start kind of narrowing down the scope until we identify a technology that's having trouble. But immediately we, we jump to action, either jumping into our equipment, or whatever tools we have available to us, to uh, diagnose and then resolve in, a, in the most timely manner possible. Uh, I hope this has shed some light into, you know, the guys behind the curtain, um, and hopefully, um, you know, we, we're we're doing our best to try and constantly keep the network uh, running as pristine as possible. We want to make sure that you guys have the best experience on campus, and we apologize for the, the bad times when things aren't working as intended. But just know that uh, you have a, a really good team here to support you guys, and we hope uh, that your experience here on campus is, is good.